What's up? It's Jared from Vandalistic of Vlogs, and uh, today I was on Twitter and uh, saw uh, something shared. It was a uh, video of former Australian Kevin Wright talking on CNN about gun control, <laughs> and um, it's funny because this is kind of like this is what I was talking about in the last video, and I thought it would be. I thought it would be interesting to see somebody who's in, was in power and still, you know, um, an influencer um, in politics um, and public opinion uh, to see what they say. And just to give me a, an insight into what um, we're dealing with in Australia. So I'm going to go ahead and play this video. Kevin, I want to bring it closer to home to uh, wrap up the conversation. Obviously, President Trump traveling to Dayton, Ohio, and to El Paso, Texas today in light of the mass shootings we saw at the weekend. What needs to be done here in your mind? Look, as a friend and ally of the United States and coming from a country of which I was prime minister, which has many similarities with America, including its rural culture um, and the fact that, um, you know, we have uh, communities who have long supported gun ownership. As a friend and ally of the United States, I would just appeal to the president of the United States to demonstrate leadership by banning all semi-automatic weapons in the United States of America. We did that in Australia. In fact, my conservative predecessor, Mr. Howard, did that, and with bipartisan support from us. And it's had a huge effect in Australia so far uh, in, uh, frankly, uh, removing uh, these mass shootings from uh, our day-to-day uh, -day, you know, political experience. That's need to happen in America. It won't solve all gun violence, but mass shootings where you can kill 30 people in, you know, 60 seconds. Uh, there's only one way to fix that, ban semiotic Mac weapons. Why for, on God's earth, does anyone need a semiotic Matic weapon other than being a member of the United States military? There's no rational need for this. It should happen. And I'd call on the President of the United States to take action. I'm sick and tired of hearing American political leaders offering their thoughts and prayers. I go to church too. But you know something? Uh, going to church and praying is well and good. But banning semi-automatic weapons, that's real action. And that's what needs to happen. Woo! <laughs> All right. First of all, um, semi-automatics weren't banned in Australia. Probably something you should know. In terms of gun crime, it has gone down, but it hasn't had a sharper decline than it was already having prior to um, the Port Arthur massacre. Um, if you have a look, it had been steadily dropping since like the 70s. Um, so, yeah. In terms of afterward, there were still people misusing firearms. So we've got Wright Street in Adelaide in 1999, three people were killed. Oakhampton Heights in 2005 in the Hunter Valley in New South Wales, four people were killed. In 2011, there was the Hectorville Siege in Hectorville, South Australia, three people were killed. The Hunt family murders in September of 2014, five people were killed in Lockhart, New South Wales. The Wedderburn shooting in 2014, uh, three people were killed in Wedderburn, Victoria. The Lint hostage crisis where the guy held up the um, Lint Cafe in Sydney, um, three people were killed there in uh, December of 2014. Um, last year in Osmonton, uh, Western Australia, seven people were killed. And just this year in June, um, in Darwin, um, four people were killed in a mass shooting. So, restricting guns, uh, restricting types of, uh, of guns and all that kind of thing. It doesn't change somebody's uh, propensity to do bad things. Um, if guns were completely outlawed in Australia, and when an option, um, these people would have found a way to inflict harm 
it doesn't stop anybody. Kevin Rudd also said in this interview, but I don't see why anybody needs. I know, and I know that most of you know, it's not about need. It's about exercising a right, having the ability to protect your life and liberty. The ability to protect others, to stop bad actors from hurting other people. So let's think about <laughs> where he says that banning semi-automatic weapons is the action that needs to be taken. You know, people are always talking about, we need to do something. Um, and do something always ends up being the banning of firearms or the restricting of firearms. When people like this are talking about semi-automatics, first of all, I think they don't have a real idea of what the semi-automatic action is and how it works. That's fine, not everybody's into guns. By the same token though, they also don't know that the majority of handguns in the world are semi-automatic. Um, so that leaves us with bolt actions. Then again, they're pretty scary because you can shoot a long way from a bolt action. And if you put a silencer, which silences it and makes it silent, oh, you could shoot somebody in the next county and nobody would know. So. If you line them up just right, you can probably take out like three people. So, bolt actions, they probably have to go to. If you think about it, a wheel gun or revolver kind of has the same action as a semi automatic because when you pull the trigger, all you need to do to fire again is pull the trigger. A wheel gun semi automatic? I guess so. Well, at least you could have pump shotguns, right? because you can't pull down the next round into the chamber without using your hand to do that. But then again, it's not directly feeding shells into the chamber, so it's partially automated. I guess you could say it's semi-automated. So the point is, what the anti-gunners really want is to take all the guns from all the people and then have the only guns in circulation be the ones in the police and military. And while I want police and military to have firearms, because otherwise what the hell is the point, that shouldn't preclude citizens from being able to protect themselves. But anyway, it's all pretty tiring. <laughs> um, uh, if you disagree with anything I've said, um, leave a comment. I'll uh, definitely reply to you. Um, if you agree with me, then I probably already know you. <laughs> um, with that being said, God bless. Look after each other. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.